We've been reading a lot of books this week about Pete the Cat. And today's book is Pete the Cat, Too Cool for School. This story is about Pete deciding what to wear that he considers to be too cool. The problem is that he goes and asks everybody, both family and friends, and everybody tells him what they like. But he doesn't happen to like that until the end of the story when he realizes what makes him look cool. So pay attention to what Pete does and all the clothes that he goes through to decide to wear what he thinks is too cool for school. The story is written by Kimberly and James Dean. And that means that James Dean, again, is writing not just the story. He's drawing the pictures because he is the illustrator of all these books of Pete the Cat. Let's begin. Pete the Cat, too cool for school. Pete wants to look cool. He asks everyone, what should I wear? Well, in his closet, on a hanger, he has a yellow shirt with buttons. He has a blue shirt with buttons. And he has those red sneakers. Let's see. Wear your yellow shirt, his mom says. It's my favorite. So Pete does. But is that his favorite? No, that's mom's favorite. You have to understand, it's what he likes, not what mommy likes. Wear your red shirt, Pete's friend Marty says. It is my favorite. So Pete does. Now, is that Pete's favorite shirt? No. It's Marty, his friend. Wear your blue shirt, Pete's brother Bob says. It is my favorite. So Pete does. So that's Pete's brother. And his brother's name is Bob. But he's not wearing the blue shirt because he loves it. He's wearing it because Bob likes it. So that is a problem. You have to understand, boys and girls, you have to find what makes you look the way you like to look. Okay, you want to look wacky? Go ahead, be wacky. You want to look formal? All for it. Do you want to look fancy? Yeah, you can. But be yourself and look for those colors that you like. Look at those clothing that you say, mm, I like this, and pick it. Wear your long pants, Pete's teacher says. They are my favorite. So Pete does. Even his teacher is telling him what to wear. This is not easy. Wear your shorts. Wear the shorts with the fish. Pete's friend Callie says, They are my favorite. So Pete does. Excuse me. You don't put shorts on top of green long pants. That looks wacky. Wear the polka dot socks, the bus driver says. They are my favorite. Oh, and it gets worse. Now you wear polka dot socks? Fish shorts on top of green long pants? Let me tell you, if you don't know how to dress, you might as well find somebody who can tell you how you really should be dressing. Some people don't have any good taste about dressing. But some kids are very smart. So I trust those. Wear the cowboy boots, Grumpy Toad says. They are my favorite. Um, hello? Fish shorts on top of green pants with cowboy boots? Get out of here. Wear the tie with the stripes, Emma says. It is my favorite. So Pete does.
No comments. Wear your baseball hat, his coach said. It is my favorite. Oh, brother. No. No. Hello. No. Pete puts on all the clothes. Does he look cool? No. He looks wacky. Some people call it ridiculous. Some people call it funny. You should call it wacky. Uh-uh. No, Pete looks silly. He also feels very hot. So he's going to have to take that tie off. He's going to have to take those boots off. He's going to have to take that cap off. Pete goes home and he changes his clothes. Pete puts on his favorite shirt, puts on his favorite pants. Well, what do you know? The boy, in this case, the, Pete the cat, picked a yellow shirt and blue jeans. Now, finally, somebody got some senses in their head. Okay. Pete puts on his favorite socks. Pete puts on his favorite shoes, which happens to be sneakers. Pete's put on his, fit, his sunglasses. Pete says, now... I am cool. So look at that. Does it look bad? No, not really. Not really at all. I just think that for my taste, it's like a rainbow. Green socks, blue jeans, yellow shirt, red sneakers. Um, what else do you want? Orange and purple? I don't know. It, it's just an opinion. But y'all know my opinion. My opinion is very conservative. I, I don't wear those wild things. Unless it's Wacky Wednesday. Surprisingly, we've done that before. <laughs> but if you want to be cool, just be you. And that is the best message that Pete the Cat can send to you. If you, the end, if you are that person who listens to everybody but yourself, you got a problem. Because this is not about you pleasing others. This is about you. And your personality comes through what you wear. Now, if you're that person that feels that you need to change a little bit, well, save some money, talk to your parents, and go shopping with them and try to pick something that you like. Now, my advice is always go with colors that don't go wrong. Traditionally for kids, blue, red, yellow don't go wrong. The green, the orange, and the purple, it depends on what you wear. Um, and black and white are always neutral colors, which means it goes with everything. And it looks good. Um, brown, mm, if you're that neutral, you can. You can mix it with orange, green, or yellow, red too, purple. But in all honesty, this is what we call fashion. And if you know anything about that, fashion is about listening and watching people on YouTube and sometimes for out of YouTube who know how to sew who know how to make clothes, and who know how to make them look good on somebody. And sometimes kids can have a good clinical eye. And they might say, well, I'm not wearing that. That makes me look ridiculous. But I'll wear this. And they pull it out, and it looks good. So remember, boys and girls, fashion is not just for girls. It's for boys. A fashion designer doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It could be a man. Men, well, some of us are called tailor because I like to do it on the sewing machine. But others like 
you know, fashion. And it's not bad about it. It's all about taste. It's all about color. It's all about what is it that you want to wear? What is it that you want to show out to the world that people will love to buy your clothing and say, I'm going to wear this a hundred times. It don't matter. Okay? Remember, smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.